Local, fresh, and organic. Those are the words that we use to describe the great products at La Montanita Co-op. And today we are down checking out where the products actually come from. Come on. Hey guys, I am down here in Las Lunas with Thomas Dalla-Height, who's the owner of Peculiar Farms. And Thomas, I gotta say first off, the name. Love the name, Peculiar Farms. Tell us about this place and uh, how you came up with such a cool name. Well, I mean, if you take a look around, you can see it's already pretty peculiar, uh, license plates and other things. <laughs> but uh, um, actually, my degree is not in ag. It's in um, uh, theology and archaeology. So okay. I wanted to do this connection between my Christian connection, which is a peculiar people, right? And the fact that I'm just a little quirky anyway, so it's kind of a double entendre sort of thing, so peculiar farms. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, what we grow out here. Now, obviously, you can see chickens. You can hear, <laughs> hear chickens. chickens. Yes. Uh, so tell us what, uh, what, we're, what we have going on out here at this farm. Well, I mean, in some ways, I'm really, I would say, more of a pasture, a grass farmer than I am a chicken or cow farmer. We raise pasture for the chickens and cows to eat. So we do a lot of eggs, lots of eggs. Uh, we're doing about 70 dozen a day, something like that. Now okay. we're hoping to ramp up. This year, I've got about 700 chicks coming soon, hopefully ramping up into the 150 to 200 range, uh -huh. maybe even by next spring. And then we also do beef, which you'll see around in some of the fields. Uh, this year, 120 head. Uh, wow. Okay. And then hoping to ramp that number up as well. So, okay. so now tell us a little because I'm always curious, and I will ask someone in the know. How do you mm -hmm. tell a good egg from a bad egg? Sure. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people immediately say, okay, well, you, you take a look at you know the, the yolk and the color and those sorts of things. But I mean, a lot of it really is dependent upon uh, the diet and the and the freshness of the egg, right? So if the diet's good, you'll see not only an orange yolk, but it'll kind of stick up high. The second okay. thing is your shell should be firm and, and break well. That means they're getting plenty of calcium and, okay. and other nutrients in their diet. And ultimately, I mean, you, you really want that egg to kind of stay together. So if you break an egg and all that white runs halfway across the, the skillet, your protein levels are low. Really? Okay. So, and it's probably not as fresh. Yeah. I never knew that. Okay, well, obviously, speaking local mm -hmm. and fresh, that's all about La Montanita Co-op. So tell yes. us about what you do with La Montanita Co-op. Yeah, I mean, it's been an amazing relationship. They've been so good to work with us as a farm. So both the, the beef and the eggs we sell, of course, through La Montanita. Uh, I'm part of a separate co-op that La Montanita helped create with farms uh, here in New Mexico and Southern Colorado. Uh, the eggs, uh, they've been great to just come down here, take tours, help me kind of figure out ways that I can better market the product, etc. And uh, at this point in time, we're in all their stores and they're starting to kind of push our eggs to different restaurant venues, etc. that they also service. So, okay. So yeah. obviously you have a lot going on with the co-op. What is your favorite part about working with them? I think the fact that they work with you. I mean, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but um, the fact that they're so engaged in the farm, that they really do believe in a local farm, uh, that you know they'll listen to crazy ideas that I have and say, yeah, maybe, maybe we can make that one work, you know? And, and we've kind of went through a long process. We did vegetables in the past. They helped us with vegetables. We did flowers, we did herbs, you name it. And they really kind of helped us refine. Okay, that's good, but you know, maybe this is a better area. And so that's kind of why we settled on, on eggs and, and, and on beef. So yeah. just that relationship and really working together as, as a team. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, I think that's a very different thing, even when it comes to pricing structure, those sorts right. of things. Let me help you. Let me help you get the best, a fair trade, right, for your product. How rare is that, right? Yeah, you yeah know, something so. that legitimately does it. Yeah. Such a good team. Well, clearly, obviously, the chickens are very excited to be on television. <laughs> yes, you guys are. will get your turn. Don't worry. Don't worry. But if uh, if people want to get some product from Peculiar Farms, are you in all the La Montanita co-op locations? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're up in Santa Fe, we're in Gallup, and, of course, the three mm -hmm. locations the three's in, in Albuquerque. City. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, Thomas, thanks for letting me come down. Uh, chickens, you'll take it away in a second for more information on getting Peculiar Farms product on your dinner table from La Montanita Co-op, head over to casa.com. Hey, I'm trying to conduct an interview, guys.